Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're playing Racing Club Santander. Let's jump into the team lineups to see who is starting today. So we made a few changes. We brought in Arcas for centre midfield in place of Herrera giving him a rest. Giving Briere a rest as well. We've brought in Kovacevic in place of Umarajic. We've pretty much got the league tied up without any disaster happening. And we've got the cup match against Real Madrid after this one. So we want to rest a few bodies but also keep the players in form. So I think this is the lineup we're going to go with. Xerxes could probably do with a little bit of a rest. He's only got a little bit of energy down. Costinu as well. Yeah. But anyway, let's jump in and see how we get on against Racing de Santander. Beautiful looking stadium. Love the uh, La Rosa Lady. It's a beautiful looking place. And it's good being back at home. And the last match we won 3-0. It was comfortable in the end. But... I would say there was a, a bit in the middle of the match where we we didn't play too well. First 20 minutes, I thought we were dominant. We were creating the odd chance here and there. But after we didn't score, fell flat a little bit. And the beginning of the second half, I was starting to think, well, is this going to be one of these games again? Um, but as soon as we got that first goal, it was, uh, it was pretty certain. And we came out 3-0 winners in the end. Really looking forward to the game against Real Madrid in the next match. Strangely nervous, which is um, a bit odd. It's only a computer game, but yeah, it's. Um, I just really don't know how we're going to get along. Um, get on rather, not get along. Because we've been so dominant in the league, but it's Division 2. You know, Real Madrid, this isn't just even a Division 1 team. This is Real Madrid, you know, all going to be the best team in the league. Good effort from Vieira. Um, I've got no bias either way for Real Madrid. I used to love them when I was uh, younger, when I was like about 10 years old. When you had the likes of uh, Zidane and Figo and Ronaldo, the original Ronaldo. Um, Roberto Carlos, love to watch them. And then uh, I grew to love Barcelona as well, which is sacrilege, I know. Um, you know, like in Real Madrid and Barcelona, but um, but yeah, you know, they are without doubt one of the top three teams in that league. Depends which season you're in, but it's going to be a hell of a match. Like I say, I just I can't really gauge on how we're going to get on against them. Um. Oh, love! Oh, just offside. Oh, that's not offside. Come on, it's like his toenail or something. It was a beautiful ball. Oh, it was good because if uh, if I'd have got on the end of that and scored, that would have been a beautiful assist. Um. Anyway, see, so, he was man of the match in the last one. Perez somehow still keeps it. I don't know how he... didn't know what was going on there, to be honest, when there was about three players around me. Nice play there from uh, Vieira and Perez. How did Perez knock at the end of that? Another beautiful ball, this time from the left. What is Rice doing there? And in the end, we've had to. Sorry, I've just knocked the mic from there. In the end, we'll have to foul him to. Uh... Stop the attack. Wonderful uh, tackle from Kosinu. Absolute star of a defender. On a lovely ball out to Mudrik from Xerxes. And Mudrik's in here. Oh, straight at the keeper. The angle was a little bit narrow. But um, needed to try and curl it around him. I 
Sixty. There it is. One nil. Beautiful control and a nice finish. Didn't try and blast it. Placed it in the corner. Nice chest. And uh, yeah, nice, uh, nice finish. Probably not the way the keeper thought it was going to go. Ideally, what would want is for us to be pretty clear by that 55, 60 minute mark where we can make some subs without having to worry, rest some players for the Real Madrid match. But now we have got a week until the Real Madrid match, so which is good because this one was only three days after the last one. So, wonderful whip from Mudrik. I'm sure he got fouled a couple of times and he still kept going. Ah, that's poor from McDowell. Lost control a little bit, but I thought he was going to keep it in. Anyway. Good tackle from Kovacevic there, standing in for Omaradzic today. Lost it, but won it back. Well held up from Zirk there. Got fouled. Why is McDowell always... This happened in the last match. Standing right in the way. Just put me off a little bit. Oh, again. Couldn't quite get it over the wall. Oof, that was absolutely blasted from Teixeira there. Nice header there from the defender. That was poor from Arcas. Haven't seen too much of him actually. Costner again with a lovely tackle. And Vieira giving it away that time. It's not like him. That's a foul. Definitely was a foul. That's not a yellow. It was just a trip. It wasn't anything m malicious or... That was poor referee. And... Mudrick in acres of space here. And the, that was the wrong choice, trying to play the trick. But wins it back. Lovely ball across. And there it is from Perez. I thought I'd wasted the chance by trying to be clever with Mudrick. Won the ball back. Wonderful ball across the box. Very difficult to defend against. Flashed it across. And Perez is just... Pulled back a little bit. Smashed it in the uh, top of the goal there. Yeah, fired in. And we've deserved that. Having that two goal lead. And that should be half time. And it is. And just looking at the stats. 67% possession. 69 passes. Good amount of passes there. And that second goal before half time just gives us that little bit of comfort. You just never know when it's only the one goal, although we, you know, very rarely concede. Whoops. Don't try and be too clever. Trying to be too clever. I was trying to play the pass to Vieira. Trying to leave it to the last minute to draw the defender in. 
That's the risk. Oh, gosh, just got smashed in the face there. Ah, just overplayed. Yeah. And Xerxes not the quickest. He's not slow, I would say, but... I wouldn't say pace is his strength. That's a poor ball from... Oh, but here we go. Mudrick's in, though. He's still in. Oh, just wide. He's got a surprising amount of strength, Mudrick. He's obviously quick, and I knew that, but... You see, he wins the ball, and he gets challenged, but just as he's about to shoot, he manages to get it back, keep his strength, and um, just flashed it wide. Oh, lovely ball out wide to Mudrick there. But loses it. Needed a better touch than that. His touch doesn't only let him down. Did that time. Got to be careful with Kvazovic. Good tackle though. Zix, he wins it back. Uh, Arcas loses it. That's not going to be a red, is it? It is. It's a red card. Why did I fly that? I thought I got the ball. That's not the point, though. Should not be making that challenge. There's no need. Nah, that's a bad challenge. It's definite yellow. Let's make some subs. So, obviously, we're having to shuffle things around. I'm going to drop Rice back into defence. Bring on Hedge for Fabio Vieira. Put him in defensive midfield. Going to take Cars, Perez and Zirksi off. Just to give them a rest, to be honest. And I think actually looking at it, we're going to put Arcas up front and drop Harrington down to centre midfield, I believe. It's probably the best way forward. Yeah, disappointed about that red card though. It's a poor challenge, poor decision for me. I mean, the first yellow card for me was not a yellow. But once you've got the yellow card, you have to be played safe. You can't go diving into challenges like that. There's just no need for it. Even if you get the ball, you risk getting yellow. Now, I think we'll still be okay for the match. I don't think we're going to, you know, let a two-goal lead slip or anything. Um, well, we might do if we keep playing balls like that. Good block, though. But that means suspension as well. It means one less body. That we can bring on as a sub, for example. That's a foul. Obviously, Omaragic was going to come back in the next match. Um, but we need the bodies. course because we've got 10 men we're chasing the ball a bit more because it's and that's just gonna make us even more tired <sighs> and we've let in a goal defenders stepped up at the wrong time there acres of space this isn't the best camera angle yeah and of course what you got to remember is Rice, who would drop back in to defence. He's not a defender, so God knows where he was there, but, um, you know, he's not naturally a defender, and that's what's left the gap. So there's me saying, well, we're not going to let a two-goal lead slip. Well, it's only one now, and there's still 15, 16 minutes left, so anything could happen. Yeah, foul. 
I hope Mudruk's not injured there. He was doing a little bit of a limp, so I'm not sure if that's just an animation. But sometimes they do. Castle Deed! 3 1. After all that, we kept the third. Would you believe it? I did say anything could happen. Um, but I haven't been playing out wide to the youngster, the right back. Who, um, gonna be honest, I've forgotten his name. Was it McDowell? I want to say McDowell. Nice little ball back and nice finish with Castle Dean. Yeah, I think it's McDowell, isn't it? The right back. Um, anyway, back to a two goal advantage. Good tackle from Cosinu there. A ball by Mudrick. Yeah, right, it's not good in defence. I could have brung on Old Magic, but then it would have defeated the point of resting him and Yeah. It probably would have been the sensible decision to do that. But we'll certainly benefit in the next match by leaving him on the bench. Nice play there. Mudrick's played very well. I mean, he, know, he always does, doesn't he? But Ketic. Decent effort. I'm not going to watch it again. It wasn't that good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so anyway, the next match, massive against Real Madrid. Can't wait. Ball from Mudrick. Alcast losing out though. Don't want to let in another goal. Good tackle, and that should be full time, and it is. Was a bit uncomfortable for a while, but we got there in the end. So even though we had 10 men for, what was it, like 25, 30 minutes, still managed to creep over that 60% possession mark. And ratings-wise, somehow, Kovacevic, I mean, he did play well, actually, before he got sent off, but you should not be getting a good rating if he gets sent off, really. I mean, Teixeira got a five. But yeah, just the way the ratings are. But Xerxes getting man of match, I would agree. Holding up the ball well, passing, you know, scoring. Carlos Perez, yep, good match. Mudrig, I thought he was brilliant. Fabio Vieira, I agree. I thought he was a little bit absent in that game, but good all-round performance. Obviously, a bit of a blip with that red card, but we'll, uh, we'll get past that. But like I said during the game, big news is got a massive match coming up at home to Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey, the quarter-final. Can we get through to the semi-final, potentially even, dare I say, get a cup win in our first season? That'd be something, but I would be happy to just put up a, a good performance against Real Madrid, get a goal, keep it tight, let's see what we can do. So I really do hope you can join me for that one. Should be an exciting game, but thanks for joining and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.